Uh, my name's Ben Taylor. Yeah, I'm an undergrad in the poli sci department. Well, the first action around Occupy UMass was uh, a couple days after the uh, Brooklyn Bridge incident, uh, which was October 1st. You know, where 700 people got arrested uh, by the NYPD. Um, you know, and basically through entrapment. Um, there's, <laughs> anywho. Um, so uh, we had a, a student walkout, which had about 200 people. Um, I think it was October 4th or 5th. Um, you know, marched to Amherst Commons, had a big speak out. Um, the, the the encampment for Occupy UMass got started about two weeks ago, um, and uh, it's been growing since then. We've uh, um, been involved uh, in an action against uh, uh, the new uh, student health insurance fee hike. Um, also, we had a really great action uh, last Thursday where uh, a contingent of people from UMass met up with a contingent of people from Occupy Hampshire, um, and we had an action in the Bank of America in downtown Amherst, um, where we actually ended up uh, succeeding in shutting down the bank, um, which was pretty amazing. Um, you know, obviously in solidarity with uh, the International Day of Action on the 17th. Um, yeah, the movement is is growing. Uh, you know, we're we uh, we're both uh, we stand in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street, um, but we're also taking on demands that are specific to students here. Um, so fighting against the, the lies that they've been telling us about why they're doing the student fee hike, um, you can get a lot of information about that at the uh, Graduate Employees Office um, in the um, in the student union. Um, and uh, fighting against uh, student fee hikes, uh, the ballooning rate of student debt for uh, students on this campus. I'm going to be graduating with $50,000 in student debt, and it's completely inappropriate. Uh, you know, it used to be possible at this university, uh, back in 1978, you could work 10 hours a week at minimum wage and pay your way through this university graduating with zero debt. Uh, to pull off something like that today, you'd have to be working about 65 hours a week. I mean, the this. Um, and there's, you know, there's there's some serious problems, obviously, with student debt. You can't get rid of it through bankruptcy. Uh, the big student lenders like Sally may have a vested interest in students defaulting on debt. Um, and the more student debt goes up, the more profit they make off of students. Well, there's going to be a teaching tomorrow, actually, um, which should be pretty awesome. Uh, basically talking about where the profits of the 1% come from. Um, so if you're curious about, you know, what profit actually is, um, stop by. It's going to be 245 right here at the encampment.